Ah, hello. And now I'm going to make another voice meter video because now I've learned some stuff about this program that made me really mad figuring out because there's no really good explanation for it anywhere. Um, I made a quick example video which upon review is basically worthless now that I've encountered some new problems that I must have just blundered into avoiding last time. So we're going to just take another look at voice meter and learn about what some of the stuff uh, means. Uh, first of all, um, I have no idea what any of these acronyms mean. The WDM, the MME, there were some stuff on the voice meter site and voice meter forums, but there was no concise or easy to collect source of information anywhere. So I've basically been learning about it all on my own. And the long and short of it is a setting that will annoy you very highly if you are using this program for streaming. And it is this one. Allow uh, applications to take exclusive control of this device. Um, if you have these set to uh, WDM, and also on this one, or KS. I saw it happen in KS as well. And you have this unticked. It will sound very bad. Um, and if you have it ticked and you want to use something like Discord or Skype or any other uh, similar program in order to share um, your your desktop audio through the VoIP using with also your microphone audio, you will encounter large problems because uh, with uh, if you have this checked, um, it'll keep multiple applications from accessing the device all at the same time. So voice meter, uh, OBS, uh, Discord, whatever, all what all have you, will all be fighting over this device, and it's basically first come first serve. Whoever gets the device first will be the one that ends up using it. So you want to have these unchecked, and you want to have these set to MME. I do not know what this means, but when you have it set to MME, it will work fine even if you have exclusive mode turned off. I guess there's some other things that uh, I can point out now that we're here. Uh, one is A and B. In these, um, the A and B things... things uh, if I if, if I, I do, do this, this, you might get some uh, echoey because what that does is it pushes the hardware input from my headset microphone into both the virtual out and the main out. So it'll push um, it'll push this uh, it'll push the input into the main and the virtual out, which means it'll happen not only in in uh, in the voice meter playback. Uh, device, uh, playback uh, devices, it'll also push it through whatever uh, hardware out I think you have set up here. I think that's how it works. I can test this rather quickly by changing this to speakers and then, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can hear the echo of my voice coming out of my speakers maybe because I have that selected and uh, headphone. That is what I want. Or wait, headset earphone that is what i want uh so yeah if you have these these can be useful i guess if you're doing some sort of like recording where um you want to have uh two different sound sources funneling into the same location i think people might be might use this might be using the a and b channels in order to stream music or something or stream get or or have recordings of games which in which they can hear um, a voice over IP program, like a TeamSpeak or something, and have it not show up in the recording, like that kind of thing. I think that's how it works. But for the most part, for streaming purposes, if you just want to stream a game, have a buddy on uh, screen share, and have them hear the game audio, you do not want A selected. Uh, there's also some things you can you can uh, you can do here. I think if you boost the gains modify the gains on it that'll make your devices uh, louder or quieter so if you need to do some audio balancing i think you can do it there 
Um, but for the most part, you basically want to use the MME. So to from the top, uh, you take your input device, which is usually your microphone, you stick it here, you stick the output device that you want your uh, that you want to use. Like if you have you want to use your headset, you do it here. If you want to use your speakers, you use here. You set uh, voice meter as your default playback device. And what that'll do is whenever a desktop audio produces audio to your default device, it funnels it into uh, it funnels it and your your input um, in it, it it funnels the desktop into this and then voice meter pumps this through the output and then if you uh, pick the output as your audio device in discord or skype it'll push your desktop audio with your mic audio and that's how you do that there's almost certainly more things you can do with voice meter i think it can accomplish a lot of the things virtual audio cable did um, like if you have, want to have a music source through, um, like have another Discord client running, and uh, I think people do that on stream. You'd have to, you could do your own digging because I've never done any of that stuff. But Voice Meter can do a whole lot, and basically I've been rambling for a few more minutes than I meant to now. So play with the settings. Um, do not use w, uh, WDM. Don't use KS either. Use MME and remember to turn off allow applications to take exclusive control of this device that will give you bad times and play Pro Yoshi's Cookie.